wrench my rod like this, or heard some management rail crash with the tide to come forward and give you a brief update on the whip. Oh, good evening. Uh, over the past few days, we've been coordinating and communicating very closely with the National Weather Service, as it's become apparent that a uh, unusual um, for our area uh, winter storm event was has been kind of shaping up. Fortunately, it's uh, it appears to be um, more of an event to our north and to our west. Some of our, our neighbors in in, uh, in those areas, but nonetheless, the um, latest forecast has indicated that. We are going to experience, you know, later tonight, uh, we're going to start seeing some rain. That rain is going to transition into a freezing rain. As the temperature drops below um, freezing uh, in the early morning hours, one of the concerns and one of the reasons we've been communicating so closely with all of our local partners, schools, DOT, those type of things, uh, we are concerned about icy road conditions um, occurring, especially since the timing. We put it right around the morning commute. Um, so, as I said, we have been communicating that information, holding regular conference calls with Weather Service and with local schools and some of our local partners. Um, and so, based on that forecast, um, you know, uh, our, our primary concern is we want people to, to um, always err on the side of caution. Uh, we want people to be careful when they're coming into work in the morning. Uh, a lot of uh, all of the local schools, including the the, um, the private schools. Based on that forecast information, our communications decided to close. Um, they'll be closed tomorrow. The BSU and Wiregrass will also be closed tomorrow. Uh, and Georgia Military College is going to open um, uh, for afternoon classes once the, the temperature warms up and the, the freezing conditions kind of dissipate. Um, and, and in addition to that, there's you know, several local um, local businesses, some, some daycares, local offices. Um, those type of things. Uh, some of them are closed. Some of them, such as like the city of Rimmerton, they decided to uh, close their administrative, administrative offices until um, noon tomorrow. So they're coming in a little later. But the, uh, the uh, in coordinating with, with Paige, getting, getting information out, our message has been what we wanted to convey to the public was, um, you know, this is, you know, we are looking at the potential for icy roads um, tonight and in the morning. We just want everybody to, to use a little extra caution, use some common sense, drive a little slower, leave a little earlier, you know, give yourself a little extra time to get where you're going, and uh, just just pay attention, especially you know, when it's you know when it's dark. You know it's harder to see those ice spots, um, so we want to make sure that we, that we um, keep everybody safe and uh, get everybody where they're going with as, as minimal disruption as possible. Don't have any questions about any information or forecast. I've got a comical question. I was asked by one of my constituents very seriously if Lowndes County owned any snow plows. <laughs> I told him I didn't think we did, but I didn't think we probably would need it. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> that was a, was a serious question. It has to be about 45 minutes a day. <laughs> we, we, don't, we don't have them, but we have access to them. We were them so. <laughs> Mr. Chairman, Commissioner, I'd like to ask um, Paige and Light of Ashley's comments to list some of the methods. That, that we have used in order to get this in. Yeah. Um, currently, we have communicated um, with the as well as our local TV stations. Earlier today, we did two interviews with Channel 10. Um, we have PSH running with the Black Pride Media Group as well as the Rivers Radio Group. Our hope is that through this afternoon, tonight, early in the morning, people will get the message as far as being careful while they travel, stay home, and if they can until conditions can uh, improve. We also have the uh, website updated with all that information as well as tips on how to take care of your pets and winterize your home. And there have been several emails that have gone out to all the county employees um, to make sure that they're all up to speed on tomorrow. Okay. That's it. Any other business? Here you go. <laughs> Sorry.